one uh, extraordinary moment was when, uh, in 1988, uh, 20 years ago, I conducted the first auction ever conducted in Moscow since after the uh, 1917 revolution. And that was in the early days when um, the political changes took place with the Glasnost and Perestroika days uh, that we've organized that sale. And at the time, Russians were just spectators and uh, the collectors were American and Western Europeans. Now, we 20 years later, the situation has evolved enormously where the Russian collectors are some of the key players in the international art market. And uh, the art market has become much, much more global than it was uh, 20 years ago. So that's definitely a moment that I will always remember fondly with, uh, because it was such a watershed moment in the history of art in uh, uh, Russia in particular. But um, whenever I sell something truly unique, uh, it's something exciting. I mean, uh, uh, as chief auctioneer at Sotheby's, I handled many extraordinary sales. Uh, I was the, one of the auctioneers during the uh, sale of uh, uh, Jack in Onassis Kennedy. Uh, uh, I was one of the auctioneers in the sale of the uh, Duchess of um, Windsor uh, jewels. I was uh, auctioneer in many house sales in uh, uh, the uh, stately homes in Italy, in Germany. So each time it was really, really exciting. But I think my most exhilarating moments have been with Philips, when we have um, every season introduced new artists that have never been sold at auction before and have really built up interest in the secondary market for those artists and have really contributed to making some careers. Um, a lot of the artists that we have introduced have now become mainstays in the international contemporary market. And when we started being very interested in artists like Richard Prince, his works were selling like uh, around thirty to $70,000. Meanwhile, his works sell up to $10 million uh, each. He had a big retrospective at the Guggenheim Museum of Art. So it's very exciting to see that we have have in our own way contributed to some of the artists that we most strongly believe in really becoming uh, worldwide uh, household names.